Welcome to MBLEX exam practice test. Our topic today is ethics, boundaries, laws and regulations. Use the link in the description to download the app on the App Store for free practice tests. Number 1. Which of the following is an example of a dual relationship? A. Massaging one's sibling. B. Going to an art exhibit with a client, not as a date. C. Bartering with a client for a haircut and color. D. Massaging one's sibling, going to an art exhibit with a client and bartering with a client for a haircut and color. The answer is D. Massaging one's sibling, going to an art exhibit with a client and bartering with a client for a haircut and color. Explanation. A dual relationship is any relationship with two distinct aspects. In massage therapy, one part of that is a therapist or client, any other relationship between the same two people creates a dual relationship, whether it is therapist or family member, therapist or hairdresser, therapist or contractor, etc. Therapists are advised to be highly cautious in these situations, since any issue in one of the relationships will undoubtedly affect the other. Number 2. When a client develops an attachment to a therapist because the client feels that the therapist is the only one that listens to all of his or her personal problems, as well as fixing muscular ones, this is an example of which of the following? A. Countertransference. B. Transference. C. Bartering. D. Dating. The answer is B. Transference. Explanation. Transference is when a client develops feelings toward the therapist that are similar to feelings the client might have with someone outside of that professional relationship. Whether or not these are romantic feelings, they must be acknowledged and dealt with by the therapist. Countertransference is when the opposite happens and the therapist develops misplaced feelings towards the client. Number 3. What should the therapist do if a client makes an overt sexual advance toward a therapist during a session? A. Try to change the subject. B. Politely ask the client to stop. C. Ignore the advance. D. Terminate the session immediately and report the incident to management and their security. The answer is D. Terminate the session immediately and report the incident to management and their security. Explanation. Overt sexual comments or advances from a client are unacceptable under any circumstances. The therapist should respond to this behavior by immediately terminating service and having the client removed from the premises. Massage therapists do meaningful and respected work that takes a good deal of education and training and should never be subjected to such demeaning behavior. Number 4. Which of the following statements about regulations is true? A. Every state has licensing laws. B. Every state has the same regulations regarding massage therapy. C. It is necessary to attend an accredited massage school to get a license. D. A therapist's individual state license is valid in other states. The answer is C. It is necessary to attend an accredited massage school to get a license. Explanation. Although regulations for therapists vary from state to state, it is consistently true that therapists must receive an education from a legitimate and accredited school. The number of hours required depends on the location, but the program itself must be a qualifying one. It is best to check that a school is accredited before committing time and money to a massage therapy program. Number 5. Which of the following is not part of a massage therapist's scope of practice? A. A therapist is able to diagnose a client's medical or musculoskeletal issues. B. A therapist can only practice modalities in which he or she is properly trained. C. A therapist should never contradict a doctor's diagnosis of a client, even if the therapist disagrees with it. D. A therapist must follow the guidelines set forth by his or her workplace regarding certain services that a massage therapist may or may not perform, such as body treatments. The answer is A. A therapist is able to diagnose a client's medical or musculoskeletal issues. Explanation. This is the number one rule when it comes to a massage therapist's scope of practice. Therapists do not diagnose. They can treat certain musculoskeletal conditions, but under no circumstances is a therapist to diagnose a client's problem. 
protocol states that the therapist should merely suggest to the client see a physician to receive a proper diagnosis. Number 6. Which of the following is not true about communication? A. Clients must communicate clearly with therapists. B. Therapists must communicate clearly with other therapists. C. Management doesn't have to communicate clearly with either clients or therapists. D. Therapists must communicate clearly with clients. The answer is C. Management doesn't have to communicate clearly with either clients or therapists. Explanation. Communication is essential in all relationships, but especially in massage therapy. Rules, regulations and expectations must always be clearly articulated to therapists and any other employees. Entrepreneurs must be able to clearly communicate with clients and others in the business. Lack of communication is the cause of many misunderstandings and potentially harmful situations. Number 7. Are massage therapists held to HIPAA laws? A. Yes. B. No. C. Only if the place of business is considered a covered entity under HIPAA regulations. D. Only if the place of business decides to follow HIPAA laws on its own. The answer is C. Only if the place of business is considered a covered entity under HIPAA regulations. Explanation. HIPAA laws were designed to protect patient information as it moves electronically through third-party carriers, such as insurance companies. Massage therapists are only held to HIPAA standards if their place of employment is considered a covered entity, which is a place that deals with those third-party carriers. If the place of employment does not deal with insurance issues or medical records, then it would not fall under the HIPAA standards of practice. Number 8. Where should sensitive information about clients be kept? A. In a folder on a desk. B. In a locked file cabinet or on a password-protected computer. C. In a drawer in the massage room. D. At the reception area. The answer is B. In a locked file cabinet or on a password-protected computer. Explanation. Even though spas and most private massage studios are not beholden to HIPAA standards, they should never be careless with clients' personal medical information. All intake forms and client notes should be kept in a locked file cabinet or on a password-protected computer. They should only be accessible to authorized individuals. Number 9. Which of the following are principles of massage therapy? A. Increased circulation. B. Stretching muscles. C. Bridging the mind-body connection. D. Increased circulation, stretching muscles and bridging the mind-body connection. The answer is D. Increased circulation, stretching muscles and bridging the mind-body connection. Explanation. The principles of massage therapy include many of the positive benefits of massage, such as increasing circulation, stretching and relieving tight muscles, and creating a healthy mind-body connection. The principles of massage are intended to improve the client's quality of life, both physically and mentally. Number 10. What type of client should not receive a deep tissue massage? A. Someone who doesn't like pain. B. Someone who has a lot of trigger points. C. Someone who has high blood pressure or diabetes that is not regulated by medication. D. Someone who isn't athletic. The answer is C. Someone who has high blood pressure or diabetes that is not regulated by medication. Explanation. Massage therapy can be very beneficial if it is practiced correctly, but in the hands of an untrained person, it can be physically damaging. This is why education is so critical. There are contraindications to almost every modality, so a therapist must be well informed about a client's unique health issues. Because massage therapy increases circulation, it can put extra pressure on blood vessels that might be constricted due to high blood pressure. Deep tissue massage can put further pressure on veins and vessels. Diabetes also causes circulatory problems, so the same vascular concerns are relevant. However, if these conditions are being treated by a physician, then these issues are of much less of a concern to a therapist. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for updated videos every week.